Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we will have a look at the Pico Envelope Follower from Erika Synth. First of all, what is an envelope follower? It creates an envelope signal of an incoming sound. Further, there is a threshold you can set, in this example the red line, and everything above this threshold will create gate signals. This can be used to modulate VCAs, voltage controlled filters and so on. We will see some of the things we can do later in the video. The Pico envelope follower comes with a gain knob on top. This is to set the preamp gain. You can also create an overdrive effect if you turn the knob far right. Threshold sets the threshold of the gate extractor circuit. This is the red line we saw before. This switch sets the attack time of the envelope, either fast, slow or medium. Next we have an audio input. Depending on the gain setting, you can use modular signals, line signals, guitar signals, microphone signals and so on. I made a separate video about the different signal levels, you will find the link in the video description. Then there is an audio input, this outputs the incoming sound. So basically, you put your sound through the module, so we can create an envelope signal. Now the envelope output. The envelope signal is boosted to plus 10 volts level, so you can use it to open VCAs without further amplification. The green LED indicates the envelope status. Last but not least, the gate output. The red LED indicates if the gate is on. By adjusting the threshold, you can create rhythmic gate signals to for instance control a drum module. So as you see, we have two functions. One is the envelope signal that gets generated, the other one is the gate signal. Alright, and now let's explore what we can do with it.
right, that was it for the Erika Synth Pico Envelope follower. As always, if you like my videos, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Thank you and see you next time on the 